drown yourself, will you? I'd like to try that apology again, Miss Filbert. Not important. I've heard Gutter talk before. Well, I'm really sorry it happened. Well, maybe you'd like to do me a favor. Drowning myself is out. No, you can go ahead and live in. But stop pounding that typewriter all night so I can get some sleep. Chalk up one more apology. The rest of the trip home, I'll do my writing in the daytime. What kind of things do you write? Fiction. Magazines, mostly. Do you ever buy any ideas, like, say, part of somebody's life story? Yours? Maybe. Your story's been done. Who, me, Mamie Stover? Don't be silly. I've never talked to a writer in my life. Only the names and geography change. The people don't. Let's see, you're, uh, 20... 60. Any family? My father still lives in Leesburg. Oh, it makes it simple. Back in 1930... In 1933, Mamie Stover was going to graduate from Leesburg High. The best-looking girl in her class, but not the happiest. Cinderella. But no gown, no coat. She never had any pretty clothes because her father, Tom Stover, drank up the few bucks he made. Pop's name was Gus, and he didn't drink. He didn't do much of anything. But Gus Stover's daughter had one thing, her looks. The men said she was hot as a smokestack. And all this attention worried Mother Stover. Mom died a week before graduation. Who sponsored the beauty contest, Mamie? The Legion of the Elf. You make it sound like it happens every day. Well, it does. I work newspapers that sponsor beauty contests. I know all about these shapely Cinderella's and the yearning hearts what happens to most of them. The only thing I can't understand is why they don't go home. Married some have not, like my old man. 